Yo, 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 pop, pop, it's your boy, Daddy Sino here, back with another cringy ass video on the dark web. And now, I know I've made a lot of Sony fanboy videos recently, so I'm making another one about King Thrash, as he has also been the focus of a few of my recent Sony fanboy videos. Because it really does seem like he's on that Sigma grind set. I mean, he's pumping out a lot more L takes that I can make videos on. Which is hard to complain about since these videos make me money, and I have a KFC addiction to sustain. Speaking of which, if you guys would like the honor of helping sustain Jordan Sino's KFC addiction, please super thanks this video- Nah, I'm just fucking kidding. I'm not gonna e-beg for money. Anyway, the video we're gonna be looking at from King Thrash is titled, The $70 Argument. Which, you know, I bet you can't guess what this one's about. It's King Thrash defending $70 games, which, you know, I think most of us can agree $70 games are a fucking ripoff. Like, there really wasn't a reason to increase the price. Because, I mean, it's not like their games weren't making enough money or anything. They just wanted more, and the easiest way to do it is to fuck people over with a price increase. Now, most of us probably have more than 50 IQ points and can see that this is complete bullshit. However, Sony fanboys, as we know, are not very intelligent people, as King Thrash is about to demonstrate for us. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. I don't understand why you just want to continuously talk about 70 fucking dollar price tags on video games. Here, I can answer that, and that is because games still cost $70. Also, not to mention, The Last of Us Part 1 remake is coming out, and it costs $70, which a lot of people are unhappy about. So, yeah, no shit right now people are gonna be talking about it. Which, by the way, the tweet that he has on screen is from another YouTuber who makes similar videos to me called Oh No It's Alex. And the tweet outlines a very good point that, you know, people said the same shit with microtransactions, and look at how out of hand that bullshit got. Although, really, I wouldn't be too surprised if King Thrash started defending microtransactions. If you don't like it, don't play it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. You know, I feel like King Thrash thinks that this point here that he's made is a lot better than it actually is. I feel like a lot of people might think that. There's just one weak link that breaks this entire argument, and that is that games haven't always been $70. Now I know everyone's about to tell me, oh yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But my point is, is that this argument that King Thrash is giving would only work if $70 had always been the price of games. Because the thing that people take issue with isn't even necessarily the amount. It's more that the amount increased from where it was before, but we're still getting the same amount of content that we did before. Or we're getting a remake, like in this case. Which, you know, a remake shouldn't cost $70. I mean, the original game ain't even cost $70. If you don't like it, wait for a deal. Wait for the price to go down. Yeah, the problem with that is, is that with this price increase, sale prices will never be as low as they were before. Unless Sony are also making their sale prices better, but, you know, I highly fucking doubt that one. Now, am I okay with paying 70 Bitch, I'm not okay with paying $59.99. Fuck, I'd rather it all be free in a great world where the flowers blossoms and the bees land on them and stick their stingers inside of the flowers. I don't know how that shit works. You know, if King Thrash is saying that he'd like all games to be free, I'm surprised that he doesn't support services like Game Pass. Because, I mean, if you don't like paying full price for games, it's perfect for you. But, that ain't the life we live now, is it? Motherfuckers need to get paid. And they still did get paid. Sony's games were very profitable, even before they increased the price. Like, I don't think anyone at Sony's studios was going hungry because they were charging $10 less for a game. You, as a gamer, shouldn't have a problem supporting gaming. I don't, and in fact, gaming was very well supported when everyone was paying $60 for games. Just like the same piece of who are complaining about this shit today 
uh, are, are the same motherfuckers who buy chips for two, three, four thousand dollars. Who have rigs that are worth almost ten thousand dollars. Okay, either this is the straw man of the century, or King Thrash is genuinely stupid enough to think that every PC gamer spends ten thousand dollars on their PC. That is a vast minority of PC gamers. Because most PC gamers, and this isn't an insult, would probably have a rig worth under, like, 2k USD. Like, the average person ain't gonna be able to afford a 10 grand computer. Just to play games that aren't that motherfucking impressive. Tell me you've never played a AAA game on PC without telling me- Actually, he just did tell me. Little side tangent here, it is always funny to me when these console fanboys try to judge PC gaming and talk like they understand PC gaming. It's like, bitch, you played one indie game on a $900 laptop for five minutes. As if you know anything about PC gaming that I don't. Fucking cocksucker. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think it was Paris who made who made the first complaint about. Or, or it's all about Paris's shit, even though Paris owns a fucking Tesla. What does the fact that he has a Tesla have to do with his complaint that games are overpriced? Like, yeah, he owns a Tesla. Doesn't change the fact that games are overpriced. Sure, maybe he can afford it, but maybe, just maybe, he's doing this really unknown thing called thinking about other people. He's complaining about $70 games. Um, he's doing it because Xbox currently doesn't have any $70 games. Why the fuck would anyone want Xbox to have $70 games? Like, no thank you. It's because Xbox currently doesn't make next generation games. They're still stuck in last generation. They have yet to release a game that is just, just, just this generation. And I believe, me personally, the games that they do bring will be $70. Yeah, and they'll probably also be available on Game Pass. Meaning that, you know, we still don't have to pay $70 for them. I believe, in fact I know, that when they get Activision, that Call of Duty's price isn't going to go down to $59.99, nor will it go to Game Pass, that bitch will be $70 fucking dollars. Eh, I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. I believe Starfield will be $70 fucking dollars, maybe even Redfall. And they're also day one on Game Pass, so, you know, even if they did make them $70, which I'm gonna press X to doubt that they will, you can still get around it. You know, it's not like PlayStation where your only option is to pay $70. But there's a reason why that's okay, you fuck. Not everything needs to be in a service, not everything needs to be free for you fuck ass. I agree, not everything needs to be on Game Pass. However, I don't think that means that we as consumers aren't allowed to demand a reasonable price for a product we are expected to spend our money on. You got this... Generation of motherfuckers who listen to people who aren't gamers. Paris ain't a gamer, bruh. You know, every time King Thrash tries to say that somebody else isn't a gamer, it just really makes me want to find that clip where Alex goes through King Thrash's PlayStation account. You know, so that we can all know what an actual gamer looks like. Sadly, I can't remember which video that was from, so if anyone knows, feel free to help me out in the comments. I ain't not. He's a fucking influencer. That is his job. The fuck does him being an influencer have to do with whether or not he plays games? Like, there's literally tons of influencers that play games. We should be paying $80, alright? We should be paying 80 bucks. You know, I really gotta ask what these guys have against getting more value for the money that you pay. Like, dude, if you're willing to pay $80 for a game that does not offer you more value than a $60 game, then you 100% deserve to be ripped off or scammed. This motherfucker is the reason why most corporations today think their consumers are idiots. Because we went through two generations of $59.99. PS360 era, PS4, and the Xbox One era were $59 eras. That era lasted about 7, 11, 12 years? 15 years almost? In 15 years, right? In 15 years, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Did ring go up for you in 15 years? Did the cost of anything go up? Everything, the cost of everything went up. Hey buddy, do you want to know what else went up in those 15 years? The market for their games. Like, they have more customers. They don't need to increase the price of their games. Like, seriously, bro, the amount of immense growth that we've seen in the gaming industry isn't going to stop anytime soon. Like, the gaming industry literally doubled in size in that time. So unless inflation is like 200%, I really don't see how they wouldn't be making enough money. If you work for a job, for 15 years, are you going to expect a raise? 
Dude, they're making twice as much. They can fucking afford it. At the end of the day, you fuck because are the same niggas who are complaining about crunch, but also complaining that, oh my god, they're charging $70. Yeah, because I understand that this is the real fucking world where most people can't afford $70 games, because not everyone in the world just has money for video games. It's like, huh, it's the same, they live the same life as you. Oh my god, really? I didn't know. I'm not even gonna bring up the point about how much games used to cost back in the day, bro, because if you look back at it, and how I remember, I didn't pay even $90 for fucking Nintendo games, bro, back in the day. Yeah, and back in the day, games were also a new technology and a very niche market. Like, seriously, gaming then was nowhere near the behemoth that it is today. But I'm not saying, I'm not saying as a customer that I'm happy with it, but as a grown-up, I totally understand it. Because everywhere you go, if you work for somebody, even if you have your own company, at some point you're gonna have to raise the price of your shit because shit is just getting more and more and more expensive. It is what the fuck it is. Yeah, but it's also probably not the time to raise the price of entertainment when it's making more money than ever. And let's just all be 100% honest with ourselves. That extra cash that Sony would be making from this price increase is not all going to their developers. I would say most, if not all of that money, is going towards buying Sony Executive's new Rolexes. Not only do you want these games not to be $70, you don't want to pay for them at all, really. You want to pay a monthly fee of $15 a fucking month, or $9 a fucking month, or whatever the fuck you're paying monthly, my- Mm-hmm. I still don't see the issue here. Because if I can still support developers, and only pay 10 bucks a month, fuck is wrong with that? You know, it really just seems like King Thrash has a problem with people getting more value for their money. Um, it, it just is what it is, but they, they, they are losing money, bro, and they cannot continue to lose money, even though they can afford to lose it. No company wants to lose money. I've always said that shit. Oh, really? I didn't know that companies didn't want to lose money. Gee, such wisdom. You know, I wonder if this guy realizes that Game Pass makes Microsoft the quarter of a billion dollars every single month. And that's just from the money people pay for their subscription. That ain't even including the fact that Game Pass is actually shown to increase game sales. Anyway, the rest of this video is just kind of boring, so... That's where I'm gonna be ending today's video. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter, at JordanCSNo. Subscribe to the second channel, JordanCS2. Links to both of those will be in the description. Please don't send any hate over to King Thrash, it's really unneeded. But, that's all for today. So until the next one, piss off.